newest Magic Keyboard. Is it worth the upgrade? Is it worth the price tag? Let's find out. Thank you for joining me once again. I'm Mark and you're watching MavTech. Now before we jump in and open up this gorgeous little product from Apple, why don't you subscribe to the channel? Keep up with everything that's going on and everything that's going to be happening soon. Um, and while you're there, you can always like the video. Thank you. Um, right, let's jump straight in and get on with this. Apple's newest Magic Keyboard. We're going to open it up, see what's inside and do a comparison of the older model. Right, let's get to it. Quick walk around in the box again, always the same from Apple, beautifully, beautifully packaged. Um, what it is on the top, product as you can see, Apple one side, Apple another side and flip it over, it's pretty plain this box at the back but in the corner here you've got the relevant information you need. So let's jump straight in and get this done. Knife very carefully. Hopefully that's enough. Slide that off and get rid of that out of the way. Now I've watched these open quite easy, just slide it and it reveals the product quite comfortably out of the sleeve so we can get rid of the sleeve. Again, always beautifully packaged from Apple, well designed boxing, easy removal. So we got the keyboard. Leave this here. Inside the box, USB to lightning cable. Bit of paperwork to go along with it. No power brick. Now you can't moan, um, you get a power brick with everything else. They wasn't going to throw it in this nicely slim packaged little box, but if you're using, if you're an avid Apple user, you'll have a spare one, you'll have a power brick somewhere to go with your phones, your iPads, so and so. Brilliant. Right, then it's to one side. Open this up. And there you have it. Your new Magic Keyboard from Apple. So, the first thing you notice is it's a lot smaller, it's a lot thinner, it's a lot lighter. Now compared to the older model, this is 8.2 ounces. The older model was 11.5, so there is a significant drop in weight, which is always a plus. Now this, at the back here, you've got your lightning connector at the top and your on and off button here. Now the fact of why I got this is one, because of the size, it's, 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 a, it's so much smaller, we'll compare it in a second, but again, um, the built-in lithium-ion battery, brilliant. You're not swapping out batteries all the time. Not that you was doing it all the time on the old one because they were pretty good and did, did last um, long enough, obviously depending on your usage. This one though, um, yeah, you can charge it for, I think it takes two hours for a full charge. And again, depending on your usage, you should get three to four weeks usage out of that. That's fantastic. Um, now we're gonna compare it with the older model. I'll bring it here. There you go. Now there's not a great difference, I'll just put this one here. You can see from the top of this one, this is where the old battery port was, obviously unwind the corners, two AA batteries in, and you're off. Um, there's none of that now, because uh, it's all plug and play, which is, to me is fantastic. You have built-in battery inside. Now again, the size comparison, you can literally fit this in here. And it looks like the old one, so that's that's, the best way to compare the size of it is a major, major difference. And obviously with the weight saving, I know I know it's not a lot, we're only talking a few ounces. It makes a difference when you're carrying stuff in your bag. Right guys, down to the serious stuff. Is it really worth upgrading? Well that's um, only a question you can answer. Now, two things to take into consideration is one, the price tag, £99. It's not cheap by any circumstances. Um, second one taking space saving. Like I said, it's a lot smaller, it's a lot lighter, but is that really going to affect your day to day life or your travel with a few extra ounces in your bag? Again, that's up for you to you guys to answer. Um, I'm happy with it. I brought it one because of the size, two because of the internal battery, and three because it's a new Apple product. Why not? Um, but yeah, I mean, if you've got a fully working old Magic Keyboard from Apple, 
uh, I don't think you need to upgrade. It's not something you have to have. But again, if you look at if you're looking to upgrade, that's what you're going to upgrade to. There is one with a numeric block on the end of it. It's slightly bigger. I think that goes for 129 pound. Are you going to really going to use that? You've got the numbers up here. It's just another 30 pound you're adding on an already fantastic keyboard. Again, each to their own, and it's your choice. The options are there. Um, once again, I'm Mark from Mavtech. Please subscribe to the channel and um, drop me a like down below. Thank you very much.